In football years, Mark Tauscher felt like his career read like a tombstone. You know, whenever people talk about your career, it, it's, it's kind of like a death because you'll put, you know, just the, for me, for instance, it'll say Mark Tauscher, Green Bay Packers, 2000 to 2010. Because when the cheering fades, it's not easy. You have to accept the fact that you're not going to be running out in front of 70, 80,000 people anymore, and you have to find different ways to keep your mind sharp and to do those things because I think that's when, you know, for me, I'd get in the most trouble is if I didn't do stuff and it was just, that's where I think, uh, you know, most of the issues come. After 11 seasons and 134 NFL games, even this Wisconsin legend had a tough time. Was it a little bit of a struggle there? Like you talked about oh, identity, absolutely. Mark. No, I just, it's absolutely a struggle. It's a very emotional period of time in your life because you've had something you've done for all this time and you have, it's a great job. And then all of a sudden when that's gone, yeah, what's next? I'm a team guy. For Tauscher, what was next was Sports Talk Radio. Ooh. Investing in the Isthmus newspaper and other business opportunities. But it's not like he was the next Michael Strahan. Michael Strahan, there's guys that will fall into another career path and it's just easy. 95% of us, it's not that way. The Packers Hall of Famer admits that the rigid, almost military atmosphere of football left him searching for a time without the game. When you have your life on a laminated card and you have a schedule that you have to be at certain places mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden, you know, you're told, you know, thanks for your service, it's time to go. Mm -hmm. You go home and you're like, all right, hey, this is cool. You know, this is nice. There's no pressure. But then after two or three days, you're like, all right. Tauscher's smarts helped him find his way in life, but his Hall of Fame day will be emotional, missing his dad who passed away in 2013. What's the best memory of your dad? I think for me, it's just the amount of time that he put in. You know, I get chills thinking about it now is just how many people helped. And then, of course, I thought a lot about my dad and how, you know, happy and proud he would be that day. Still, his dad, Denny, will be with him in spirit as he joins the select fraternity of the Packers Hall of Fame. There's, that's going to definitely be a big you know, part of the day for me because I know how much he, you know, how much time he put into my career and you know, sports of all my entire family, but this would be a day that I know he would definitely love to be at.